everyone welcome back to Jesse at home I am so excited for this video this is a big video this is me moving all of baby Malcolm's things out of our master bedroom and into his own little nursery which is attached to the master bedroom he's not going very far he's going about 10 10 more steps away from me um, at night but he is definitely ready to go into his big boy crib he is so tall and such a big sturdy boy that um, he has already outgrown his bassinet. I absolutely love his bassinet, would recommend, um, but he is just so tall that he is touching his head and feet to the top and bottom of the bassinet now. So he's ready for some room to spread out and roll around in his own crib. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. I am not pretending. I'm born like this, a game for the reckless. It's so extreme, and I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. No, I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. As you can see, that little door um, which connects to the master bedroom is the nursery. So I'm just going to be taking all of his things. I'm going to be taking off the changing pad from our room. He does have a changing station in his room. So I'm just going to basically move all of his things over there um, and just get his room set up. It is kind of bittersweet for me because I thought he was going to be sleeping in our room for a little bit longer. Um, but since he's been sleeping in there for about a week after um, I filmed this video and he absolutely loves it he sleeps so much better in there and I actually sleep a lot better now as well because uh, he's a very loud sleeper he likes to grunt and groan in his sleep and he's perfectly fine um, but I'm less likely to wake up to every single noise that he makes now um, so he can kind of sleep in peace without me poking at him, and I can sleep a little bit better now. I wanted to show a close-up of how dirty the mirror got. Malcolm always likes to look at himself in the mirror and touch the mirror and talk to the baby in the mirror. He always has really funny conversations with himself. I don't think he quite realizes that that's him he's talking to, but he always loves um, like looking in the mirror when I was changing him on here. That is one thing I will miss. There isn't, there isn't a mirror above the changing table in his room, but we can always come in here and kind of just sit in front of the mirror and have a conversation. So originally when I did the nursery, we had that little glider in there, but I decided to move the big rocking chair uh, recliner in there because it's just so much cozier than the um, glider. I do have the glider in the living room just so I can have something that's kind of slim and I can rock him out there as well. Um, but I do not regret moving the recliner in his room because it is so cozy, especially in the middle of the night when I have to go in there and feed him. Um, and right before I put him to bed, I always rock him to sleep. I know a lot of people say, put your babies down. You know, there's so many like new rules now than there was when I had my first set of kids. I have teenagers, 17 and um, 14. And there's, you know, I always rock my babies to sleep and fed to sleep and just cuddled. I did a lot of contact. But nowadays it's like, you know, swaddle your baby don't touch them, put them down drowsy and a whole bunch of like crazy rules and I'm just enjoying the baby cuddles for right now and we'll figure out like sleep training and all of that uh, later. Frames, boy. It's such a funny way to tell me what you search in life. Well, I'm a mad woman, sorry I don't compromise. Mad woman, mad woman. Keep calling me a mad woman. Oh, you turn 
I've gotten a lot of questions about what that like chair thing is in the corner of my bedroom. That is my husband's inversion table. It helps like lengthen his back out. It just helps like um, relieve all the pressure he has um, on his joints and everything. And he does about well, when he's home, he does about 15 minutes a night and it really does help stretch everything out and um, help him feel a little bit looser, loosey goosey because he really does uh, like beat up his body with how hard he works um so i got that for him for his birthday this past year and he really really likes it i admit it's ugly and it doesn't really like fit aesthetic of the bedroom but um you know it helps him and helps his back and helps him feel good and helps him sleep better so i don't mind having that in the corner of the room you know sometimes we just have to live with um exercise equipment or um things that make your quality of life better even if they don't make the decor in your room um look any better I do have to say though, uh, I feel like I have so many room for activities on my side of the room because I had like his bassinet, I had the recliner and I had like a little table over, like I just had a lot jam packed on my side of the room. So now that the whole window is open, it, it feels so good. Um, even though I, we needed that little nursery space right there in the bedroom I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed with like how much stuff we had jam-packed in there so to have that gone now it just feels so good and um, just makes me feel less anxious um, when I go into my bedroom now My room feels like my room again. It feels like a nice space to re to retreat to and have, you know, like self-care. I can go in there and read a book and lay down and it's not just jam-packed full of baby stuff. It's my own, well, me and my husband's own personal space. The baby's room on the other hand looks like a hot mess. So we're getting ready to clean and organize this space so it'll feel really good in there as well. Feels like 
I needed to pull the um, dresser out a little bit so I could plug in that little hatch and I love this little diaper caddy thing I had this in our room and I'm just bringing that one in here um, the hatch though is amazing it has the perfect amount of dim light at night if I need to come in and feed him or change him and it also is a sound machine my husband and I said that we kind of miss having the hatch in our room so I'm thinking about getting the hatch clock um, like the grown-up version for our room because we love having a sound machine we always use our fans and um, we have a air purifier in there as well and it makes noise but we really really do miss having the hatch in our room so we might get one for ourselves So today's project is to go over um, and go through these boxes again. I need a bigger tub for maternity and just busting at the seams. I need a bigger tub for those and these in here. And then that is for bigger baby items like a little wedge that I need in bassinet, the reflux. Um, I'm going to separate the zero to three and um, newborn clothes because it's got the best out of this tub. I just don't really want, you know, I, I want to, it to be more organized. Um, and Mr. Man is already wearing six to nine month um, sleepers. So I'm going to go through the six to nine month tub and figure out, I'm probably just going to go ahead and put those in the center. He's busting out of three to six months right now. So, um, I don't want to wait and then him grow out of these two packs like I did with the three to six, or, um, three to three months. So, anyways, <laughs> basically I'm just going to be doing a lot of sorting and organizing and trying to get this stuff done. I got some new Cricut labels because I got to peel off of some of the labels of the ones I've already done. Thankfully I have a Cricut so it's super easy to do. So, let's get started. I really was trying to stuff too much in some of these tubs so I'm glad that I got some bigger ones and I'm glad I got a couple extras. Um, I'm relabeling just because when I tried to take the labels off um, they peeled up and like were kind of weird so I just made a whole batch of new labels um, just so everything even though it is a clear or like see-through tub I still want to label it now this is very generic baby items but it basically means not close so um, I'm putting like little toys that he's grown out of um, his like incline wedge in there from his bassinet um, 
just things that aren't clothes that he no longer needs like his uh first little play mat thing that i got he already outgrew he has like a little sit me up chair that he's already outgrown like i said this boy is huge he is in six to nine month clothes pretty much already um at almost four months so um i don't know like it's kind of crazy how many outfits that he hasn't gotten to wear because especially since a lot of his like three to six months clothes I got that were like cozier and it's just now starting to get cold like cooler out so a lot of his clothes like the warmer fuzzier clothes he probably won't get to wear because he is so tall that the three to six months pants are like shorts on him <laughs> like long shorts or capri pants or whatever and the um the onesies are already starting to get a little tight as well so um he fits wonderfully in six to nine months but i'm still trying to get some wear out of the three to six months and hopefully he'll stay in the six to nine months till at least after the new year i am asking my parents and like people who want to like give him gifts for christmas i'm just gonna go ahead and say give 12 months because I don't know how fast he's gonna grow I'm assuming he's going to like even out after he gets mobile and like starts moving around more like you know he'll burn off a lot of that like extra baby fat and just become a lean like just like a, a little lean running machine probably It was really nice to have a spot to actually sit down and fold all of these clothes um, in his room because normally I just kind of stand at the dresser and fold them all and then put them in the drawer so it was nice to have a little seat in here that I can sit comfortably. Malcolm loves hanging out in here as well. We always come in here at least a couple times during the day just to kind of change up scenery and we'll play with his toys 
and we'll read a story. He loves for me to read to him. He loves for me to just talk to him. I can just sit there and have a whole conversation with him and he'll talk back to me and just kind of stare at me while I talk. He just, he loves to just have any kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction. He's so cute. I wanted to go ahead and go through the six to nine month clothes and cut off any tags or um, you know stickers that may be on some of the ones that I bought that haven't washed yet so I wanted to go through and do that then I'm gonna wash all of these and fold these and put them away I'll spare you th that whole process because I've already folded clothes and put clothes away but um, at the end of the video I'll do a little walkthrough and, sh and share with you how I've organized this dresser and and how I have everything but um, I wanted to buy a little nightstand I don't know if you noticed back by his crib I needed a place to put his humidifier and kind of have like a little charging station for his portable um, sound machine and he has his own personal fan so I ordered this little table off of Amazon it is not the highest quality but I think it'll work um, it's pretty sturdy and um, I had to go pick up Malcolm because he was taking a nap in his room but he woke up so I put him there so he could play on the jungle um, activity center while I finished putting this thing together the directions were not very like good but I figured out I used deductive reasoning to figure out how to put this together
All right, so I am super pleased with the way this turned out. I like having the bigger, comfier chair in here. Um, I just moved this table in here from the living room just to give me a little side table. I might, um, I might actually buy another one of those. I wanted to check the quality first, but I might check. I might add the white one in here just so it matches a little bit better, but that works for now. I bought a new little container um, to, there's the new cat. Um, I bought a new little container for all his toys. We're in here playing tummy time. We've got all his books up there. That hasn't really changed. Um, not much has really changed in here except for I switched out the chair. Um, we added the new little stand over here. The reason why I wanted a little stand over here is because of his, humidifi his humidifier. Um, and this is a little tub from the Dollar Tree just to kind of corral any water that may or may not leak. This is his like charging station for his portable hush machine. And then he has his own little personal fan. I don't like the wire hanging like that. I might actually paint just the wire blue or something so it blends in. Or we might move the camera over to the corner, but I just wanted to make sure that we could see him at night when he is sleeping in his crib like a big boy. Yes, you've been sleeping in your crib like a big boy all night long, haven't you? Yes, all night long. I dread the four month regression, but um, right now he's been doing so good in his crib. He likes hanging out in there. And I think it's because we have been hanging out in here since he was really little. So he's very comfortable in this space. Um, so it wasn't like a total transformation or a, um, adjustment of moving from the bassinet to the crib. He has more space to roll around. So this pretty much looks the same. I added the little caddy that I had from my bedroom in here. This thing, I love this thing. It is definitely worth the money I think it was 30 bucks which feels a little expensive but definitely worth it um, in this top drawer we have his sleepers his bibs his um, socks and in this drawer we have extra wipes his little safety q-tips extra lotions we have his nail file his extra bum thing um, the little nose sucker just like bits and bobs like pacifier thermometers um, all kinds of things don't worry, I sanitized the thermometer after, because I know the the thermometer is in the same bin that he has his um, pacifiers, but these I sanitize a lot, and um, this we sanitize after each use. This drawer has all of his burp cloths. This drawer is extra diapers. We've been using the Pampers, but my sister gave me a bag of Huggies that she had extra from her daughter. In this drawer, we have all the onesies. We have three to six months onesies, six to nine month pants, and then the six to nine month onesies. And then this drawer has our thin blankets, our changing table, changing pad covers, my boppy covers, extra crib sheets, etc. So I like having all of that very handy. And then in his little closet up here, we have a winter hat, um, his little sun visor, his sunglasses, some of the um, baking soda pod things that go in his diaper genie, just some extra bits and bobs, and then all of his hanging clothes. And then on the bottom, we have the diaper genie refills, um, diaper pail refills. I, I actually get the, the Target brand. It works just as good. So we get these from Target and they last quite a while. In this drawer is all of his crocheted blankets, extra blankets. Um, he hasn't really had to use these much because, you know, it's not even winter time yet, but I'm sure we'll be using these out in the living room, um, you know, to, to cozy up in. Underneath his closet, we have extra stroller parts, <laughs> like a, um, I think like a storage bag and other things, I don't know. But we have that under there. Beside his dresser and changing, we have the diaper pail. I have a little step stool or step can. I have his laundry basket. Um, I know a lot of this we will have to rethink again as he becomes more mobile in here. Um, but for now, he's not mobile, and when he is on the floor, I'm right down there with him, which I will be when he's mobile as well. But um, I'm not as worried about him getting into like the trash can or 
pulling on wires and things like that because basically he just lays here and kicks around and hangs out. Right, Malcolm? Yeah. Say thank you for watching Mommy's video. Yes, thank you for watching Mommy's video. We got this, we got this from my mother-in-law. I just love it. It's just like a cute little wooden rocking horse. I can't wait for him to get on it and play with it and use it. 